Okay, everybody, and uh, we're back. We're back for another um, edition of Bumper to Bumper. I am your host, Chris Candy, driving through the lovely hills of... uh, Where am I? Eagle Rock right now? I'm not quite sure, Um, but we're back. I've got another episode of Bumper to Bumper. Like I said, uh, I'm really enjoying (laughs) doing this podcast. Um... It is, you know, it's it's fun to keep doing these each week, and uh, we've been getting some really great guests. Um, I'm really excited for today's guest. Um, it's a friend of mine from the East Coast, New York City. He just moved out here um, from New York to Los Angeles with his wife, his partner. Um, am I going the right way here? Hold on. Um, yes, I am. Um, I'm excited uh, because we got my friend Jeff Rosenstock on the show today. Jeff is a very talented musician. Um, He is a uh, very awesome uh, creative mind. Met him many years ago on the Vans Warped Tour when I was working on it. Um, And uh, we played music together and all kinds of stuff. I'm really looking forward to uh, having him on the pod. We're going to go on a hike later. And we might have another little special guest uh, playing with us today, too. but before that happens, and before I get uh, T-boned by a car, um, we should call up my co-host and friend, uh, Rick Darge. I'm going to get hit. I'm not going to do it. How does... Okay, here we go. Before I call Rick, let's... <laughs> Look, it's already a dangerous podcast today. Um, let's call Rick Darge and see uh, what Rick's got got cooking. I know that uh, we're getting ready. Abracadabra Film Festival submissions have started, and I know he wants to talk about that. So uh, let's give him a shout. Call. Colin Rick. Chris. Rick Darge. How you doing, Chris Candy? I'm <coughs> doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day in beautiful Los Angeles, uh, January 27th. Uh, We're right in the middle of my, uh, two of my siblings' birthdays. We had my brother's birthday yesterday, Uh and uh, my sister's birthday is tomorrow. So happy birthday to some of my siblings. That's awesome. All right. Darge and Leah Darge. Jeff and Leah Darge. And we got a Jeff Rosenstock on, right? I just went the wrong That's direction. Our guest. I went the wrong direction to get Jeff. I've already almost been hit oh. three times. Yes, it's Jeff's. It's still a show in a po- in a car. All right, it's still a podcast in a car. All right. Of course, it's a podcast in a car. It's always got to be a podcast in a car. Um. Yes, we have Jeff Rosenstock, and it's your your brother and sister's birthdays. Wow. We're okay. in between. We're in between the birthdays. Got it. We're taking a day off today. Um. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, get Jeff on the uh, the podcast. I think I've I've met him a couple of times. Yeah, and uh, I think we have a extra guest coming with Jeff, right? Uh-huh. Our buddy Fletch. Uh huh. Yeah. I was I was gonna wait for it to be the big surprise, so you ruined oh, it. Oh, I ruined the surprise. <laughs> you, ru- <laughs> you ruined it. But we uh, got a third wheel coming along. Uh, the, a little, we're gonna experiment around. See, yeah, we'll see, we'll what, see it's what, like. what it's like. I, I like the idea. Well, Fletch is is going on the hike with us this afternoon, so uh, you oh, know, cool. we're carpooling here. And uh, where are you? Uh, uh, where are you guys? Where are you guys going on a hike? Uh, we're gonna go to Mount Low and go on a hike there. Um, Don't you want to go to Mount High? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> where where did these these? I keep commenting on them, but where did these jokes come from? <laughs> they just come from the ether. I pull them out of the ether and then I say them on the podcast. And they're yes, cemented. Uh-huh. They're cemented in time forever. Um, uh, how's your energy level today? Uh, mine is good. I, I feel like, oh, I left my coffee where I was. Um, oh, uh, I had a shit. Good we got to get a new one. I'm gonna, maybe we'll do a coffee run. Um, I can yeah. buy, buy the chaps coffee. That seems to be a theme on my my end when I have guests. We always end you up get getting them a coffee. coffee. Yeah. I you got to get them another... something. You got to get yeah. some kind of liquid in them. Uh, last week's uh, podcast with my grandpa, I noticed that he... Uh, you know, he could have used a water because he's kind of, uh, I can yeah. tell he got a dry mouth. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, we got to take care of our people. So that's very nice of you to be taking care of your potters. Yes. I, uh, the, <laughs> the pod guests. You know. The pods. Uh, the pods. Pod people. You know, I don't listen to any podcasts, really. Um, I think I've talked oh, about it uh, on other podcasts, but I'm not I'm not one have, to listen. Yeah. But 
Um, I'm happy that I've had some friends say they've listened to ours. Um, I need recommendations for some good podcasts. So, well, it depends on there. I mean, there's a podcast for whatever you're into. You know, there's like a podcast if you're into uh, crime thrillers. There's a podcast if you're into conspiracy theories. I got into a. Uh, I'm into one right now. It's this guy Sam Tripoli. He's uh-huh. a stand-up comic. He's been around forever. He's part of yeah. the, that Joe Rogan, Eddie Bravo crew. And he has a podcast called Tin Foil Hat. And I just... Oh, you've talked I, about this it, one. Yeah, you like this it one. It is so entertaining and so fun. They uh, had a guest on yesterday who was speaking so confidently about the fact that um, Barack Obama is a actually a clone from an Egyptian king. And I just, I love that idea. Yeah, like Barack and Michelle are clones from these Egyptian kings, these pharaohs. I forget the name of them. Uh, I don't want to butcher it right now, but they were in power in the 1300s BC. And uh, this particular pharaoh was responsible for um, uh, telling the people of Egypt, we are going to worship one god and it's the sun god. It's not going to be these multiple gods you all are worshiping. So he kind of got everyone to believe in one thing which was the rising sun and uh this conspiracy guy on uh, tinfoil was talking about how if you look at barack obama's initial logo when he was running it was a rising o and they you know it's it's fun you, you have a good you have a good time wow the conspiracy I'm world into, is so I'm, weird i'm into that world just because it's uh it's gets my imagination going and a lot of the um of my own ideas and the ideas that John and I write together are based around these ideas of like reality isn't what it seems. I feel like I'd uh-huh. be a much different person if I never saw The Matrix. You know, I'm a Matrix guy, Chris. You are? You really like that movie had such a profound effect on you? When I saw it, when I was uh, in the theater as a teen, it, it that movie and The Truman Show, those both fucked me up in terms of like there could be something else out here um, that we don't know. Yeah, they, they had a deep impact on me. I, I stand by my argument that The Matrix is the greatest movie ever made. It's not the best movie ever made, but it's the greatest movie. No, maybe I have those reversed. It's Wait. the best. It's, it's, a, it's a profound top-tier movie because it's an action film at its surface, and action films will bring in pretty much everyone yeah and uh especially people that don't maybe don't think about like the nature of our reality and what we are oh i see what you're saying yeah it did a great job of inviting them in it baited them in and then it turned on their minds and i think that's powerful that's like powerful that's what a a film should be Uh uh-huh you know and speaking of film um Oh, I already, I don't know I already if you mentioned, mentioned it. Yeah. I, so, uh, I, I mentioned. Uh, yeah. yeah. Go, you talk about your own little uh, Matrix festival Well, you're, here. you're part of this. Uh, Chris, yeah. you're one of the programmers um, of the festival. I, this is the third year uh, that we're running, uh, and we started in uh, 2018. It's called Abracadabra yes. Alakazam, yeah, and it's Abracadabra, a comedy. Alakazam. It's a comedy f- uh, festival that also does, it's not just comedy. We, anything with a very strong, weird point of view. Uh-huh. Uh, prim- primarily yeah. short films. They are very there short. It used to be one night. Films. Yeah, they're, they're short. Um, so we booked the theater. We're ready to go. It's going to happen uh, June 12th and 13th of this year okay. at the Vista Theater. And uh, we're currently accepting uh, submissions. And submissions are free until the end of this month. So this is actually the last week for filmmakers out there to submit to the festival and uh, for free. And then we, we're gonna charge a little bit. I think it's like $15 a submission uh, for regular submissions uh, for the regular deadline. Uh, but the early bird deadline is the end of this week, the end of this month. And uh, you can submit via our website, which uh, we're partnered with Film Freeway. Mm-hmm. So if you go to uh, abracadabra alakazam one word dot com, it's not abracadabra alakazam one word dot com. It's the word abracadabra alakazam dot com. Yes, all yes, and one uh, long, you can go thing. on there, go in there, submit, submit your film. We like stuff that's under ten minutes. Chris and I, we showed our film there, uh, Chowchilla, on the first year. We did because uh, yeah, we know someone that works there, uh, and they got us in. And that was us. We got ourselves in. We got ourselves in. But that's in. enough. 
that's enough plugging. That's enough uh, okay, for me. I just wanted to plug that. Good. I'm done plugging. I just want. I doubt you're done plugging. I think you're going to be plugging this for a while. <laughs> I have well, a f- I'm plugging it on this podcast because it's the last week that you can submit for okay. free. Okay. So that's why I want to like. You I want people to get in, yeah. and I don't want them having to spend money. We got to charge money for this, but for right now, it's free. So anyway, how are you, Chris? How's your day? What's your world looking like? My, how far away are we from picking up Jeff? We are four minutes from getting Jeff um, oh, and beautiful. Fletch. Uh, my day is is good. It's good. I um, what has been going on in my world? I went uh, not too long ago to my friends Natalie and Sam's uh, We the Women Collective performance. Uh, they did this really cool thing of uh, it was like a wake and it was at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and um, it was uh, it was all these really interesting performers and 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 really clever comedians talking about the things that have died in the last decade, um, and a lot of really fun progressive ideas it was very funny i went to that last night um and tell uh, it, what is we the women tell our audience what we the women is that you know some people yeah, might not of course. know uh we the women collective is a, a company that is uh you know put on by women uh, and they are basically there to promote films plays productions uh that are all women-centric cast crew the whole thing i am lucky enough to be one of the guys that gets to perform in some of these things it's fun I it's, 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 they do some really great stuff. Um, they pull upon some really fun plays and pieces to work on. I did a short film for them, um, and then I've also done a play that I did at the top of last year. Uh, that was a lot of oh, fun wait, to do, too. Oh, wait, wait. That play was uh, called... Um... It was called Phil, 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 yeah. Phil, Phil. Remember that? That was a that was a great play. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. So um, you, were I'm, very, I'm a... uh, you were very good in it. That was a packed audience. And, it was. Um, the, the guy, the actor that was in... Uh, Star Trek was there. Who? What's oh, that Chris, actor's name? Chris Pine. Yeah, yeah, Chris Pine. Chris was there. Pine. Chris yeah, Pine. Yeah, Chris Pine. Yes, they they draw um, upon a, a a Hollywood uh, group of people. Chris Pine supposedly, uh, well, not supposedly, he's friends with my friend Will Greenberg, who was on. Oh, Will Greenberg. Yeah, Will Greenberg was on. Um, in in Phil 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 their butts. Hmm. So that's how you get the celeb Did show. I'm Did just, you know that Chris Pine's um, former college roommate's name was Dave Cedar? What? Yeah, because they're both trees. <laughs> Are you? Jesus Christ. Dude, what <laughs> gives with these jokes? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, man, if I'm laughing, that's all that matters. No, um, it doesn't, because, you know, you're wondering where these one-star reviews come from. They're coming from your jokes, but... I know, we've been getting some five-star reviews. People, uh, we've, been get, we've been good. I think we have a 4.5 average, which is... That's a good batting average, you know. Are we getting? Look, it? you know, oh, someone told me they like this podcast. Uh, shout out to uh, my buddy Matthew Green. Oh, he, Matthew uh, Green, everyone's friend. Matthew Green, um, Matteo Verde, he, uh, aka Matteo Verde. He's a great filmmaker, and uh, he's like, I love it, man. I put it on in the background uh, when I'm rendering. So we're people's. Uh, we're here for creatives to render so when creatives are rendering they're kind of tuning in and out of our voice wow i'm just getting to to my buddy's place pulling up right now the render pod i'm gonna uh, where Um, where, which one are they hold on on the left yeah is this them this is them right here okay great i'm going to so this uh, might be this is going to be a little more technical because uh fletch has to dial in on a three-way call while he's in the back we've never done this before this is new way Woo, yeah, I'm definitely. Pulling to their driveway, this is definitely this a new is a territory, new territory, for, territory us. for us. Um, yeah, I don't know where I am right now. Oh, I'm coming up to a, the coolest naming street, Chris. It's called Wabasso. <gasps> Whoa, oh. this is weird because it's the cross street is Canada. This is, and Will Sasso is our friend, and he's, and from, he's Canada. from Canada. Oh, oh, I'm gonna. Yeah. I gotta. Re- I gotta record this video right now. I'm gonna. We're still doing the pod, but I gotta send Will. A little clip of this and say oh right on because uh oh, this so is you're, very you're strange. like doing multi-level um I'm, today's a multi-level thing for me i've got yeah. to go to the bank i gotta get gas i uh i got a lot of errands to do it's um you know it's monday it's the start of the day the start of the week um you like how i'm i'm pretending like we're not in the vortex it's not monday today what are you talking about no it's monday the listeners are listening oh, the listeners and it's monday <laughs> You gotta think of the listeners, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Th- yeah, I am. All right, I got it. I'm thinking of the listeners. Yeah. All right. See what I'm uh, saying? 
Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Um, yeah. All right, I texted them. I'm at. I'm looking at Jeff's place from outside, which is nice. Um, okay, what part of uh, what part of town does Jeff live in? Um, I don't want to give away that info because there's people. You know, I just uh, he's in. He's on your side of town. Let's just leave it there. Oh God, no one. Can, no one's gonna look up. I don't Jeff. know. I don't. You look. I just. Who's I'm, gonna look him up? He's got a lot of people that would want to maybe come and say hi. I'm. I'm. I am. Uh, I'm trying to be cool about that stuff. Okay. 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 Well, I respect that. I respect that. Yeah. 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 No, um, not, not everyone's. You know, uh, John Wessel couch. Just kidding, John. <laughs> Oh, should we give away John's address? Yeah, we can give away okay. John. No, don't give away any. I'm all about the privacy of these things. Oh, there, someone's waving to me from well, inside Maso, of their house. Will Sasso. You know, I can't even what do this video. I wanted to do a... Just, this um, sucks. I w- do it. No, what? just send it off. I can't because I'm talking to you and I can't do um, video while I'm talking. Eh, you know what? It's something for me. It's something for the podcast audience. It's the stupidest thing. Do you ever do stuff and then you realize, what am I wasting my life for right now? Yes. Why am I doing this? And that's why I feel I feel very dumb right now. Why did I do that? Wabasso, yeah, Canada? Is, it's the podcast is running right now. It's up and running. Oh, yeah. So Wabasso. I should, me, oh, welcome, right, guys. Here, right? Get in here. Yeah. Do we yeah. just are we How's just beautiful? Are we, are we just getting right in right now? Yeah, you're getting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do they know we're rolling? Yeah, the, I tell I tell people we're rolling, man. Tell them I didn't we're have rolling. A text or anything? Tell them we're rolling right now. <laughs> oh, got to get in there. Can't wait. I figured you'd have Where told. Where the fuck fu- am I? This is gonna I be the. I understand the podcast was the kid. Yeah. Oh no, I responded with an update saying it was oh, pod. I haven't looked at my phone since then. I'm pretty. They need to get in and All they right, need to be it? on fire. No, 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 this is great content. Are we blowing it? No, you're not blowing Canada it. Hop on liquor. in, Fletch. Here's our first, uh, our co-host guest. We got Fletch, oh, Fletcher oh, Allison. So I could, I could probably, I could probably three-way uh, dial Fletch. Oh yeah, so you call Fletch and then. Yeah, um, I'm gonna three-way dial Fletch right now this. so we can get Hold him on. in here. Let me oh yeah, add call. Get yeah, it, get oh, his yeah, bullshit we're in. Ahead. We're rolling, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. What kind of mic is it? We're rolling and we're already in. What is it? What are these? These aren't audio technical. These oh, are. Uh, oh, it's a okay. It's a rogue. I'm on hold uh, it's an with Chris company. right now. All right, so you're gonna call Fletch. Here we go. Okay. Oh, and then you just hold and, on to this uh, too, when you. All right, here we go. Can you hear me? Where did Richard, my sweet, can you hear me? Hold on, I'm gonna merge oh, calls on. right now. Oh, wait. We're gonna merge in. All right, there. I think we're merged. We're merged. You got me? Okay. I yeah, I can me. hear you, Fletch. Uh, there's gonna be a little delay, but we'll be all right. You gotta. You just gotta deal. Everyone's gotta oh. deal with the delay. That's all. Yeah, it's gonna be a little weird, but you know that's what happens. We don't have the technology. You're not delayed for me. You're just Candy, and he's right next to me. So that's oh that's, weird. That's weird. But Where's you know Jeff? What? Jeff is inside the place. He's inside his home. Yes. We didn't know you guys were rolling already. We were. He was giving me the tour of the pad. Oh, okay. He's got to put his uh, pants on or something. No, he's fully dressed. Oh. Okay. Well. Here we go. We're on the podcast, guys. It's rolling. We Welcome can't have dead air. People Thanks. will tune out. It's great to be here. I'm going to put well, my seatbelt on. This oh, yeah, is going to be a trippy up. podcast because, like, you guys are... There's, like, an echo, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. Podcasting? No one cares. Yeah, pod, this is fine for podcasting. That's for the hike. This goes in your cup holder. Okay. No, I feel like I'm That's fine tripping too. bald. What the audience it's can't hear is... People. Here's this, and then you're going to be able to hear Rick. Extreme okay. echo. Oh, is that AirPods? I'm here. Hi, I'm Rick. This is the first time Am I this echoing is for you guys? A long time. I, I've yeah, never we're all gonna a, echo. That's just part of it. We're all gonna echo a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hold, There's no other way. We just, just have to like uh, deal with it. <laughs> and uh, what? I don't even know where I'm at right now. Should I tell people that I'm on a podcast right now on Instagram Live? You're on a podcast. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't do it right now. Tell okay. people, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's well, we're in a vortex yes, right so now. So I'll tell some people. Yeah, we're in a weird. How's this work? Can we edit things out? We just say hey, cut this part out. No, oh, okay. no, no, no. It's oh, no, we, we don't edit live. anything out. Is a podcast? Is that that's just yeah, video and no audio, right? No we podcast on... is. <laughs> we're, what, Chris? Did you not tell them anything about this podcast? I told them everything about the podcast. <laughs> they know <laughs> everything. <laughs> what are you? What about <laughs> cursing? What you about can curse. the cursing? Okay. All right. Oh, oh, heck oh you yeah. can say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> okay. Even if it's sexual. <laughs> You okay. can sec- you Are can you get a sexual, sexual yeah. on us? I'm just asking. 
This is good. All right, hold on one yeah. second. Let me just pat oh to my the mount This low. is the longest okay. setup. I'm take him to Mount High, Chris. Okay, will take you hold on to my high. coffee while I take my shirt off? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my God, what Sorry, is happening? I like, <laughs> I'm not being a great. No, he's, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah, oh fuck God. it, dude. Do it live. We'll do it live. We'll do mount it live. Low fuck it. Park. Here we go. I woke up at, uh, like, Seven in anyway, the morning to find out. Why'd you wake up at right seven? Before I left for work, that I didn't have to go to work. Oh, so you had the morning off? Nah, I had to do it over the phone. Oh. And, and later, my boss. Tell his us pink where. Guy. Where do you? What is go? Where do you We're work? Good. We're up and running. What? We're up and running. I'm a, yeah, you're I'm on a the composer podcast. on Craig of the Creek, which is a cartoon on Cartoon Network, and it's great. And oh, the podcast is gone. What it sounds it? like yeah, to me. I can't hear. Where did Rick go? He could tell that's it was an awesome. ad. I can hear Rick. Oh, you can? Oh, now he's back. I hear you, I'm Rick. I'm here. Here I am. Is this what I'm it's here. like to I've have AirPods? I am Rick. Here I am. Yeah. Pretty close. We're all. Okay, here we go. All right, now I'm going to go this way. Okay. Um, We're back. We have great. Jeff Rosenstock <laughs> in the car. We've got um, Fletcher Allison in the back seat. Fletcher and I are in a band together. You. And we got uh, the lovely <laughs> Jeff. Rick can. <laughs> oh! You get this going. Start asking the questions. Yeah, I can hear everything. It sounds very. It sounds like I'm on four hits of acid, but it's okay. I'll make it work. <laughs> We're gonna make this one work. I, as long as I can understand words and you know break them apart in my brain so I can respond back, that's all that matters. Jeff, tell that us about your like show. That sounds like a challenge you... without delay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris, make this sure they a... drink the special water, right? That we yeah, talked about. Exactly. The gray water. <laughs> You guys drink that gray water that he's you ever give microdosed you right now. on gray? Okay. Oh man, <laughs> on I did so much fucking gray last night, dog. <laughs> okay, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it felt great. It was great. It's great. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Um. <laughs> so, you guys there? I'm here. Are you? Yeah. Can you not hear me? I'm just no. letting you guys. Oh, we can hear you. You guys are jamming. Gotcha. I'm just letting you jam that out. I want to know uh, more about the Cartoon Network show. What, okay, what, what do you is want it? to know? That, is, that sounded what do I aggressive. Want to know? I hear a delay in my voice, which makes me realize how aggressive it sounds when I talk as an East Coaster over here in California. <laughs> yes, you do have a very okay. aggressive... Oh, we lost Rick just a little bit. It That's must okay. be just no, the I'm, area. I'm here. We'll get him back, though. Yeah. Don't worry um, about me. Like Pretend we'll like you never calm. lose me. We're going to remain calm. Oh, there you are. Oh, we're back. I never lost him. Rick, do you have Verizon? <laughs> I'm on AT&T. Can you guys not oh, hear me? This is insane. No, I hear Maybe. you now. It just goes in and out. We might be testing oh, service providers right now. See whose is better. <laughs> yeah, like right there it went out. You might just oh, it, be on a bad connection, dog. No, it, it's, it happens every once in a while around here. Lovely hood. Great hood, Jeff. Thanks, thanks. I've lived here for nine days. Jeff, what so, hood do okay, you live I'll in? I'll start asking questions since uh, you can hear me in the car. That's um, true. Okay, so you started working at Craig of the Creek. When did that start going down? Uh, 2016, I think I did the pilot, and when I got the email about doing the pilot, it was like, I don't know, I kind of couldn't believe that I was getting asked to make music for a cartoon, and the, I feel like the email was like, hey, I don't know if you'd be into this, and I called back right away, I was like, yeah, 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 uh, and then the pilot got picked up in 2017, I think, um, and I did a few episodes, and then at the beginning of 2018, my band put out a record and like a couple of days into doing the press cycle for that record, I got an email from Cartoon Network that was basically like, hey, we're probably gonna get two seasons of this show. Whoa, Are okay, you cool. into it? And I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. I don't know how to do this job, but uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, awesome. <clears throat> Ah. What is, uh, what's, I've never seen the show. What's it about? It's about three kids. I, like, very loosely put, it's about three kids playing outside. Um, and, uh, it's kind of hard to just, to describe, because it's a pretty, Jesus, this headphone thing is driving me nuts. Yeah. This is wild. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's three kids who are friends with each other going on adventures. It kind of reminds me of a Disney afternoon show. Disney afternoon show. <laughs> Disney afternoon. Uh, that, like, I don't know, like, goof troop kind of vibes. Um, I don't know. 
it's fun. But so basically, it's all like a lot of it is like heightened sense of reality. Right, right, right. Kind of like this uh, the, the conversation that we're having right now. <laughs> One second delay. Uh, okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm taking this out when I answer a question. Yeah, just so do I don't it that talk way. like a total freak. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's just kids playing, but uh, it's I don't know. It's just really funny. It's kind of like. It's just, it's super funny and super inventive, and it's got, like, all these weird cinematic and anime vibes, but then also, like, like sitcom vibes. It's great. It's a great show. The writing on it's really good. The voice acting's amazing. It's just, I love the show. It's weird that I've been working on it for two years, and I still don't know how to describe the show to another person. It's kind of got, like, Scott Pilgrim vibes. Sure. I don't know. I guess so. It's, it's any vibes where, like, the vibe is like, oh... These friends are hanging out with each other. Right. Like, that is the vibe of the show. Okay, that's my freeway uh, here. I, I really want to... Let's uh, let's show our audience a clip. We can, we'll can we pull a clip from the net. We'll play, like, a little 10-second clip. Okay, cool. All right, uh, let's show the clip right now. So, In this uh, let's, clip, let's roll the clip. Uh, some great's happening. Oh, you let's could probably go. find a clip where uh, Deltron 3030 is rapping on the show. Whoa, you got Deltron nice. 3030? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, very cool. I thought I was going to get to make the beats, and then they told me I, I wasn't, and I was like, okay. But then they were like, Dan, the automator's making his beats. I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. I'm here from the future. I know you don't believe me. I'm Deltron. This is Automator. We had to retreat somewhere remote where we could be alone. Continue our studies of the ancient funk flows. That was awesome. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> that yeah. was a great Very clip. Good. clip. Shout out to uh, one of the best. Deshaun Mahone and Naja Porter for boarding that episode and everybody else who works on it. It makes so, it look so good. Jeff, how do you uh, go about, like, um, how does one go about composing music for this? Do you have a home studio? Do you, uh, do they give you ideas? Do they just let you, like, explore and figure it out? Can you break us, uh, break it down for us a little bit? How, like, a you know, how it, uh, how you go about doing it? Um, well, <clears throat> I, so I had, like, the tiniest, I, I have a home studio that I do everything in, uh, which is just like a computer and some stuff. It was in a really, really, really small room in my old apartment that I was like in for 12 hours a day. It was kind of nuts. Um, mm. But uh, what happens is I'll get on the phone with Ben Levin, who is one of the creators, and we'll watch the episode together. And I will have already seen it and like kind of taken some notes, again, some ideas. Um, and we'll just watch it through and talk about stuff. And then they just kind of let me go ape shit on it, and then I'll get a handful of notes back to fix, and then I fix them, and then we're on to the next one. And the pace is kind of wild, so, especially since we're touring, like, while I'm working on the show, so I don't really have a ton of time to, to like, you know, go crazy with revisions. I don't think anybody ever does with TV stuff. I think you, right. like, make it or you go. Um, but yeah, it's cool. They, they give me a ton of space to do what I'd like to do. And I got hired because they liked my music already. So it's just kind of like a situation where they're like, yeah, do this kind of thing that we like that you do. And I'm like, okay, cool. But it's fun because I get to make like weird movie score, orchestral, big action movie shit sometimes. Uh, and that's like a new thing for me. I'm just like, yeah, get into all this cool shit that you don't really get to make when you're in a rock band. Who are some of the like composers you really like that are working on TV or film right now or like from your past? <clears throat> really yeah, weirdly, past, Chris, the we're guy who made insane. the music for the act, he used to be in fucking Tonic. I'm not familiar with this at all. Okay, so the act is like a, I don't know. I, so I was kind of... Uh, Raised in a way that my mom was always convinced that I was sick all the time. Okay. Uh, not great. Oh, like well, like Munchausen? Mom. Munchausen? What's up? Yeah, Is that I like don't, Munchausen syndrome? I didn't know that this shit was something until I saw the act, which, like, yeah. my wife Christine and I pulled out of our what movie are going to watch tonight. Right. Kate Worthy's in that. Came what? in from Bodied, Chris. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so I kind of found out that like my okay. child's my proxy was something because of this show. Uh, but the music on is really sick, and I was like, who the fuck made this? And it was the guy from Tonic. Whoa. I was like, huh. See, I've never listened to Tonic. That's like I, I don't think. I don't think they're good. Okay. Is it okay to talk shit on Tonic on this podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, said yeah. You I don't it. think so. It's your personal it's, opinion. Yeah, it, it, it's it's right. innocuous music to me. Um, right, I never listened. But to I it, thought so. the music for the act was fucking <laughs> sick. Uh, Steven Universe has really great music, um, just because it's so unexpected. Like a lot of the time, the fights are scored with this like beautiful piano uh-huh. music. Um, and I don't know, I think the second the show happened for me, I was just watching and paying attention to more Simpsons, more Bob's Burgers, just kind of like the stuff that I already yeah. watched, just be like, what does the music do? How do you know when music is supposed to happen? Right, right, right. Because I just kind of jumped into this thing hoping I would figure it out. <laughs> You're doing And the great. music on Adventure they- Time is sick, too. Like, I don't know, Cartoon Network's got some fucking sick composers doing stuff and I'm, I'm pretty lucky to be part of it now. That's awesome. Yeah, Rick. Were you a fan of uh, Rugrats at all? I loved the story yeah. of Rugrats when I was a kid. Yeah. What yeah, was the Rugrats Rugrats thing. Um, Mark Mother's about dun 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 What's that? Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, that's that right. That wasn't oh, Mark yeah. Mother. What did was that Mark Mothersboro or no? Am I crazy? That was Mark Mothersba who didn't just make that, but he scored the fucking show. That was like one of the first yeah. things that he did. So Mark so yeah, Mark Mothersba is like big like I look up to him a lot because he was a guy in a band have you ever that listened did to, it you know have you ever listened to the Darkwing Duck theme song yeah that one's great so good yeah, solid that, that, that one kid. like speaks to yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it was cool getting into the show because all that Disney Afternoon shit and like Warner Brothers stuff like that's what I did every day when I would come home mm-hmm. from school is I would watch cartoons for like two hours like basically the whole until I was out of high school. Like, even when it was like I was watching Pokemon and shit. Uh, That's got to be a good so it's cool. So it's cool to have, like, all these secret frames of reference and getting to dig it to, like, shit that I liked when I was a kid, whether it's, like, Ska or just, like, Mr. Bungle or, like, oh, Metal, yeah. like, love Anthrax and Slayer. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. putting a lot of Metal on the show because, to me, it's, like... That's what I feel like when I was a kid, like one of the first independent things I felt like I did was right. be like, I'm gonna listen to fucking metal, bro. <laughs> uh, and I feel like when you're a kid, like, I don't know, at least when I was a kid, it was like, this music is so intense. This is the most intense thing I've ever heard. <laughs> right, right. So I like to throw a lot of like crazy death metal shit at the show and wait for them to say, no, you can't do that. And they still have it. And I keep making it heavier and faster (laughs) are you someone that will like obsessively go back and review your own work and listen to it or do you kind of just do the johnny depp method where after you're done it's it's out of your life and you're on to the next thing there's no time to go back and obsessively review it i have to watch it again to do cue sheets and uh Mm -hmm. for a while when we were on tour if it was on tv like at the hotel in the morning we'd all be stoked because it, like, man, I got $40 or whatever. Mm. Uh, and, uh, but I don't, like, go back and obsess over it or anything. There's not really any time to do it, uh, which is probably good because I do tend to obsess over that kind of stuff. And I'm, like, when I'm working on it, I'm obsessing over it like crazy. I'm trying to obsess less over it so I could just do a better job. I don't feel like obsessing ever leads to making better stuff making better art right uh it just means that you are convincing yourself that you're making something that's really important man (laughs) but it's just like you're i'm just trying to communicate the emotion that's on there you know yeah no i get it Mm. i i I, so to give the listeners like a little history like uh jeff and i know each other from how many years ago is it now uh, 17. Okay, so... That's wild. We met on the Vans Warp Tour in yeah. 2003. The Vans Shoes Warp Tour. Yes, the Vans five. Shoes. It is no you longer You guys have known tour. each other for 17 years? Yes. Yeah, dog! 17 years, man. Wow, damn. No. That's a full kid. Don't that's a fully old. grown, graduated <laughs> child. It's not full yet. You still... still not legal yet, Rick. Still you still sick of Not legal, legal yet. Shit. Not legal yet, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> One more year, and that... 
friendship will be legal. Wait, I've never thought about that. getting kicked to the curb. If you think of your own own the world. If you think of your friendship with people like as a person and how they go through like maturity and all of those things like our friendship is like a teenager a 17 yeah. year old teenager yeah. Fletch yours there's and no I, more angst you know you guys yeah, are yeah, past yeah. it no more angst Fletch you and I have known each other since college so that was like 2000 we don't have to say what year okay yeah sure yeah, why that's not? 45 we've years ago <laughs> Um, and then Rick, who you dipped out again, but I'm going to go away from the mountain because we're going to loop around a I'm little here. bit for like another 20 Chris, minutes. Chris, get away from the mountain. There. Um, uh-oh, we oh. lost him. Okay, okay no, so I'm we're going to back, I'm here. Though. Cool. So I hear you guys. Cooking. So, Cook, do you want me to do this? Fletch? Yeah, you're doing great. I got you. <laughs> I'm at the phone. You can hear me, right? Oh, <laughs> not like yeah, do you want to leave the car. <laughs> oh, you got Rick. Okay, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> we're calling Rick. Okay, Chris, this oh, phone call Rick. Oh, they got this guy. I see what's going on. <laughs> no, get away from, you got to get away from the mountain. We shouldn't cut this. We should keep this in. Nah, I think cool. it's just important for me and Rick to be talking right now. Yeah, yeah, you guys talk. Are you still with Rick? We only allow, yeah. we only yeah. allow one cut per pot, so you better choose your words right. Oh, this you know? is Altadena. Rick, what are you wearing? This I'm is wearing Altadena a pizza right shirt. Yes. I've heard of Altadena. What kind, what kind of pizza? <laughs> it's like oh, a, no, it's like a close up why. of pizza. My service so drops there's off. That's olives what's kind of fun about this podcast. There's a lot of variables where it can get some, a little confusing. Uh, I'm familiar. I feel like Ooh, I'm wearing a hat a from a uh, like shop yes. that I went to in Palm Springs. My podcast is like because we do it over the phone. Okay. Hey, what is going on right now? I think they're calling to connect to you. gets fucking crazy. Me, I'm just thinking about what you're wearing. I have no service. Just tell Rick. I'm going to hang back. Chris has no service. God, this is the good stuff. Let's keep this rolling. Yeah, keep it going. You got the podcast. Well, they're talking. They got to be quiet because it's going to be too many people. We haven't gotten a lot of good flesh material yet. So Chris drove us right to the base of a mountain and lost service. Here we go. So now I'm only connected because I have I have a good provider. Jesus, you have a very good. Oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. And Fletch, I'm going to call back. Even allowed to put this up on me. Wait, hello. Hey, we're back. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're back. But now oh, I gotta shit, get Fletch back us? in. No, you couldn't I can hear, hear you guys through Fletch. Yeah, I could hear everything you were saying. No, I mean Fletch right now because about, we don't have to delay I, anymore. No, we don't have to delay. I know delay, because but Fletch. Yeah, well, Fletch, Fletch in, needs to get up. into this, so <laughs> I gotta bring him in. There's gonna be a delay. And then we'll get the delay. This is how it normally oh. is, but now we're, we're doing a weird experiment. But all right, is it I delay? actually like the chaotic all right, all element on, on. of this podcast. And yes, we're great. merging the calls with the technology. All right, there we go, guys. We're back, and we're probably... Are we back in business? We're oh, back, yeah, we're baby. back in business. I don't want to edit that out of the Fletch? podcast. That's some impressive delay. We it's, should it's edit look, there's no delay. the part that I asked to edit out during that. Yes, I agree. So Wait, Jeff and okay, I have no, we're not edit, no, There's no more editing out. We're done editing. Because <laughs> now it's now five we gotta edit out to edit out. To <laughs> if I edit it out, then they have to not know that we edited it out. Otherwise, I have to edit this out, and then we're in a tunnel of edits. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what. Is that not what we're trying to do? No, we, <laughs> we're in we a are, hall of mirrors right now. It's a Russian a hall doll of illusion. Of we're in an illusion. We're in the vortex. We're shooting on a Friday, but really, it's Monday for the audience. Everything is messed up. Time doesn't exist. <laughs> Greetings from the past, fools. <laughs> Time doesn't exist. Hey, I wanted to ask... Um, yeah, what do you want to ask, Rick? <laughs> I wanted to ask... Well, I think this is fascinating. Like, just composing a... Uh, you know, for a show. that You must be like... Uh, I mean, how this must be a dream come true yes. for you. It Completely. sounds like it. Yeah, this is awesome. What... Um, and this is your... We were kind of having a unsteady connection at the beginning. Is this your first show that you've... Like, a series that you've scored? That drive-thru. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it's the first show I've ever done. I scored a short film about a bakery in the middle of nowhere in Montana that my friend Amy okay. made. Uh, Where in Montana? Holbridge, Montana. Uh, and it's at, it's called The Mercantile. It's really great. Mm. I don't know how to find it, but it's a cool movie. I want to go visit there. It's like super fucking off the grid. Um, and then I... Is that... Sorry. No, go ahead. Keep talking. Sorry. Oh, I scored a Dick Sporting Goods short. Wow. Uh, where I just had to like make Friday Night Lights music. And then I scored another mm. one that I got rejected for. And then that was that. And then I got this show. <laughs> Can I get anyone a yerba mate? You want a nice tea or anything? I'm good. I got this cold brew. <laughs> oh, hold on. We're going to add another. Hey, how are you? Do you have uh, coffee? This is my favorite part. No. Do you have hey, coffee? Red. Of I'll course do, you um, have coffee. A green, I'll do an iced tea. Decaf. 
I'll do an iced tea, he says. Hey, Rick, you uh, want a shake? It. Okay, you can come to the window. Come to a little bit, okay? Okay, thank you. Not bad. What about a yerba mate? Did you say yerba mate? That's yeah. what I got. They have yerba mate, I too. I've never been to this place. It's a vegetarian drive through I fucking heard about this all the way over in New York. <laughs> really? Oh, <Yeah>. damn. <laughs> I wish I was in your guys' car right Our now. Our car's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you have a fucking party going on. I'm, like, jealous. I Whoa, just slammed I just drove a by. mug of coffee because I was worried about driving with an open hot mug. Oh, you're so fine. I'm all over the you're place, baby. Well, um, okay, the, Jeff, yeah, you, yeah, should, so, um, you should tell those short films you worked on to... Uh, I run a little festival. And we're doing submissions uh, for the next four months. Oh, wow, Rick's plugging his week. film festival again. Oh, <laughs> <interesting>. <laughs> well, hey, get this. Film festival. I, Los I, just drove, I just drove by a real estate <laughs> sign, and it said Abra Management. So that made me think about it, Chris. And he's okay, talking short fine. films. <laughs> Time doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm When's sorry. that, Rick, in June? <laughs> Sounds aggressive uh, uh, in your car, Rick. Yeah, what's yeah, going June on? June 12th. <laughs> what is the film um, festival you know, again? Say it again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> is it June 12th? <laughs> yeah, I have a festival. It's a comedy fest, two nights at yeah, the Vista, June 12th and 13th. Sounds Whatever, great. Whatever, man. <laughs> I'll be there. Um, Fletch will be there. I should have... I'll submit the Dick Sporty Good ad that I got rejected <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah, please. No, you nice. And I was also submitting songs for movies for okay. a while, and they all got rejected. It was like, make a punk, man. Like it to- sounds like the arcade fire... Uh, I could probably talk about this after that Chloe Moretz movie, If I Stay. And I wrote like four songs, never heard back. Really? And I was just like, I just don't want to do this shit. This yeah. is lame. And then if it, three years later, I get an email, it's like, want to score a cartoon? I was like, yeah. A super part of your personality. I could totally see you. You've got a cartoonish personality. Hey! <laughs> I like cartoons. <laughs> you sounded like Chris right there. That was like a Chris impression. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm Chris. I don't sound like that. <laughs> oh, hey, I don't sound like that. It's me, Chris. <laughs> hey, this is me, Chris. I don't sound that way. <laughs> oh, Yerba Mate, please. <laughs> Why Give me one like decaf Yerba Mate, Simpson, please. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is uh, bumper to bumper gold uh, right here. So, Mine do you gold. like? Uh, do you do you like? Um, <laughs> would you, uh, it sounds like you. <laughs> it sounds like you prefer the cartoons, but I mean, would you want to go back into scoring longer features and yeah. shorts? Yeah, yeah. that's. Uh, it's an embarrassing thing to say, but I moved out here with the hope that maybe I could turn this into doing that. I don't know. Yeah. That's not like the kind of vibe I usually have, so I feel strange pursuing an ambition. <laughs> right. Uh, but uh, yeah, of course I'd want to do that. I, I, I love, but also if I, if I was scoring cartoons for forever, that'd be a fucking dream. And I've said this to everybody on the show, if I just worked at Craig of the Creek for forever, I'd be like, this rocks awesome. It's I yeah. truly love working on the show, and everybody is great on the show. I really That's lucked awesome. out with my first show. Yeah, to the podcast world, <laughs> everyone should know that Jeff is a really incredible musician. Uh, he's had several awesome bands, uh, Bomb the Music Industry, <laughs> ASOB, which is your first one, uh-huh. and then Jeff Rosenstock. And, and Jeff Rosenstock. The Biscuits. Yeah. Uh, and also Biscuits, Bruce Lee Band, Band Kudrow, Kudrow, sometimes Laura Ooh. Stevenson, Mikey Erg Band. Yeah. I mean all kinds of ancillary shit. Ghetto you played once? in you played in Shoto Ghetto. Ghetto? Yeah, yeah. The whole tour? Yeah, Rick, yeah. do you know I played bass in Shoto Ghetto? I did not know that. Yeah, there's footage of it. Actually, let's throw a little bit of that. Yeah. Let's throw a little footage what? right now. Stop yeah. saying no. I'm the one that has to put the footage in. And then, no. <laughs> We're not doing it. We did one. It happened. Come on, I want to cut to the footage. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's cut to the footage. Cut to the footage. There we go. There it is. Okay, that, oh, that was, was great. So good. That was us. Where, uh, I think we were in South Carolina during that show. That was oh, pretty cool. Yeah, we were on the Bomb the Music Industry yeah. tour. That was fun because Fletcher was on drums. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fletcher oh, plays Fletcher drums, on drugs in a way. Well, probably on drugs, but on drums, definitely. <laughs> Drug um, drums. Where when he hits a snare drum, he also hits his leg really hard. So he had this huge bruise on I his leg. This. And I remember just thinking, why is this 
bunt that snare drum up a little bit. You get real excited, you know? You wait to play all day, and then you finally get the chance, and yeah. it's only 30 minutes, and then later you have a bruise, so. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, was that, that was the tour, did we play in Nashville, and I got broke yep. a glass on my foot? Yeah, and then that we played in the kitchen, rowdy. right? Oh, oh, that was where Freezeboro, where the cops chased yes. us out of town. Yeah. Yes. At the house party? Yeah, yeah. We, we all played a show in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and showed up and we played in a kitchen. Like I remember our friend Joel, he put his keyboard on the, on the oven, oven door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and um, the cops came and they ran us out of town. They yeah. literally drove us they, to like, the They waited until we left and drove us out. How often do you think oh, these people get somebody doing a Thank podcast you so much. as they pull up to the drive through window? Thank you. He didn't seem Thank to mind you. at all. Get them on the podcast. They're on the podcast too. What is this business? It's cool. It's a they vegetarian restaurant. Yeah. What's the name of this place? Ricardo's Total Vegetarian. McDonald's. Uh, it's not McDonald's. I think it's Ricardo's. <laughs> it's CCH. They just put a sign. CCH. Nice. That sounds is like a weed collective. A, what's the yeah, name? Ricardo's. Oh, Ricardo's. Yeah, you think it sounds like a weed, Whoa, a weed damn. collective. Easy. Damn. Cold I didn't out. see it. All right, I'm, I got a weird angle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting some. Hey, Chris, what is it? Rick Chris, aggression. what does it taste like? I haven't gotten the tea yet. <laughs> <laughs> what a great question, though. <laughs> Uh, but this is a totally vegetarian drive-thru, and there's a big sign that says, Refugees Welcome. I'm into this place. A+. Plus. They get my $2. I support them. Oh, uh, look at you. What? You look should be a good supporter. Right. He's, he yeah. is so brave to give them $2. Uh, <laughs> Real hero. I and am. we're in the presence oh, wow. of... So what, uh, <laughs> Jeff, what's your current what's your current band right now? Is it Jeff Rosenstock band? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. And uh, Ooh, what kind of, uh, like, tell us about that. Uh, tell us about your band. What uh, what kind of style and Let's what do you play? Let's just get to a clip. <laughs> no, stop with the clips. No. <laughs> we're not doing it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're a punk band. We got some other instruments and stuff going on to it. Uh, I like to think it's good. Play a lot of energy. Oh, tell yeah. us about the bros. Yeah, the bros tell us the people band. in the band. Oh, okay. Um, so we got John. John lives Great in Long man. Island. John's got a. John's got a cat. John's got a hat. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He plays bass. I've known him since we were teenagers, since we were in high school together. He was in ASOB. He was and in ASOB and, and Bomb, and played in Laura's band with me for yeah. bad times. Bruce Lee band. All Bruce those Lee lines. band kids. Biscuits. Uh, then we got Dan Pothast. Dan Pothast oh, Dan. is in legendary ska band MU330. And uh, he just kind of ended up playing all the little bits in our band. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's great. He lives in Santa Cruz. He's got two dogs, no hog. Uh, <laughs> then we got Mike. Nice. Uh, Mike used. No, Mike does play in the bands Hard Girls, Shinobu. Yeah. Uh, Kitty Cat Fan Club. He makes his own stuff. He's a songwriter I look up to a lot. Um, and he plays guitar in my band. He lives in San Jose. Uh -huh. He's got three cats. How about that? That's cool. Tight. Uh, <laughs> and then finally. Sorry, no, I just did my mid uh, make sure the microphones are checked. In. Red light's still still on. We're good. That's what's so yeah, good about having Fletch in the car. He's a professional sound man. And then Kevin's in the band. <laughs> and he plays drums. No, talk about Kevin. I love Kevin. Kevin used to be in a rap metal Kevin. band, rap rock band called Insolence that was signed to Madonna's record label. Uh, he would be a great guest on your podcast. Oh, absolutely getting him on. He used to have dreadlocks down to the ground. Um, and then when we went on one tour, we saw him and he had cut all of his hair and he was trying on hats all the time because he hadn't tried on hats in a long time. That was really fun. He's a great we're guy. We're going to gas stations. He's like, what about this cowboy hat? We're like, that's cool, <laughs> yeah. Kevin. He's the best. Uh, and he lives in San Diego. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get... I would love to go actually down to San Diego, pick Back him up. up. Oh, my God. That would oh. be insane. Be a, long podcast. Podcast. That'd be a long cast. Yeah. <laughs> that would be like a four-hour cast. Yeah. Hey. We're going to um, need a little more battery life. Hey. Is this <laughs> your man, brother? Is, hey. Hey, man, brother. <laughs> I've, I've gotten uh, into that recently, talking like Hulk Hogan. It's funny. Or is that mulch, is that the Mulcho Man? Mulch, macho Man. <laughs> mulcho Man? Mulcho. His brief uh, career stint. as a gardener. As a gardener, and, yeah. yeah. Uh, Before he got discovered, you, not a lot of people know that. 
about what? Did you just macho get here man. from New York? He yeah, he's the yeah, he macho man. <laughs> Sorry, Rick, were you saying something? Yeah, I was asking about Jeff. Uh, you just got here from... Uh... <laughs> you guys carry on. You just keep doing your thing. I'm just over here. No, what's up? How, How many errands Aaron's... have you gotten done while we've been just chattering over here? God damn it. I just drove to John Wesselcouch's house because I have to give him this thing, and he's at a fucking audition. What? Hollywood. Never mind. Don't worry Is about my life. Is this what it's going to be anyway. like living in L.A.? A lot of auditions, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm going to right now. Everyone's You're on a always on a... I thought we were going on a hike. I'm just kidding. We're going to a hike. <laughs> I think people just say that when they don't want to hang out with you. Yeah, they audition. Yeah. That's so bad if you do that. You could. Yeah, I, I gotta do a set well, somewhere. Yeah. I. How, how could you ever call them out though? No, it's super it's true. A good it's excuse. been done to me. You should use it. Yeah. I just. It's not in my character. I. I'm either gonna go or I gotta say no. That's my new thing. Go or no. 2020, the year of no. The year Wait, no? What? Yeah, I've been saying yes for a long time. Oh. Yeah, mm. it's time to say no. Just like, oh, I can't do that or I can't attend. Thanks. Sorry, uh, More Mayor. I'm not able to be there. More opportunities for Jeffy. <laughs> My body is not well, for glad. sale. <laughs> yes, right? I'm just glad we uh, we started the podcast in 2019 because you said yes to that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you're getting a yes uh, from Jeff. me, I really want to do yeah. it. Uh, so wait, you uh, you just got here. You did get here from New York recently. Yeah. Six months ago. N- what? Cool. No, how, like how nine, ten days ago. <laughs> I just got here. Nine, ten days ago. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Crazy. So when this podcast comes out, it'll be about two years ago because we're on a delay right now. Two years. <laughs> delay. Is all the editing you have to do. It's actually. But you this, didn't specify which Monday. It's coming out sooner than later. It, it's on. My, today is Monday, January twenty seventh. Uh, in the got my brother's birthday yesterday. Got my sister's birthday tomorrow. We're right in the middle. Chris, time Happy doesn't birthday, exist. Guys. Okay, let's it's go to a doesn't clip. exist. <laughs> how's this iced tea? It's uh, great. Yeah, how's the tea? Tell oh, us wow. how. Uh, how does it, sweet. How does it taste? It's, it's sweet. sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. Oh, I'm going through Describe this. Describe it. Yellow. Describe well, the taste. It's a, Where does it's it a sweet, bring it's you? A, it tastes like sweet tea. You ever had sweet tea? Where does it like take you, though? What's the memory it? that he evokes? Tell Georgia. us about the memory. That It does remind me of Georgia, and I've spent a lot of time <laughs> in Georgia with Jeff and Fletch. Yeah. Oh, that... doing what? Practicing for Chicago. Doing... Yeah, we would... So, Fletcher and I and our friend Chris Shalakis, we would drive all the way from Los Angeles to Athens, Georgia. I think and... it was 33 okay. hours? We did How it. Long? We did it in 33 hours, right? I think you drove so. from LA to Athens? Yeah. Yeah, and one person so slept in the back seat. Two people up front, one person slept in the back. It was terrible. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> did you guys were you on meth? Like how did you do it? <laughs> Dude, just just like, <laughs> energy drinks and and good times. You know, am yeah, I right, guys? So, I don't know. I think yeah, about yeah, the drives we did. So energy well, drinks and meth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. When you're in your twenties. You could do these crazy ass drives when you're in a band, and it's like not that big a deal. Yeah. You're just like, all right, let's fucking see what my body can do. It's like how some people do ultra marathoning. I feel like people in bands are like, can do crazy. Can I just go drive. across the country and never stop and sleep for a few hours in the back, and then, you know, that's it. Yeah, I I haven't tested that muscle out recently, but I don't know what my my capacity would be at this point. Because I used to be good during the day. Yeah. Night can't do it I would just like fall asleep but Chris Shalakis was always really good at that yeah I yeah, want to yeah. tell your story but I kind of yeah. want to save it for when you're on the the podcast about oh no I you gotta tell the story no, you gotta you gotta tell the story I mean okay. I am. maybe I'm Fletcher, too tell good tell the story about when we were you driving gotta tell the, the story Rocky now Mountains. yeah we were tell in us. The, we were crossing the Rockies at night it was my turn to drive uh I don't know when I took over <clears throat> but I was definitely driving as the sun was coming up And uh, Chris was sitting shotgun, and he was asleep, but he looked up at me, and I said, don't worry, Chris, I'm racing the sun. (laughs) And then, uh, because the sun was behind us, and we were flying back over the Rockies, and then uh, I got pulled over at some point, like, I don't know, a couple hours later by a lovely guy, Trooper Manning, thank you. Thank you for making sure we were safe, and... uh, he made me stop driving because I guess I was going like 80 or something, 85. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, he made me go sleep in the back, and uh, that's my trooper man <laughs> story. He made you go to sleep? Yeah. Well, yeah. he made me stop driving, and then I did go to bed. How did he make you stop? 
he pulled us over and then he told me who did you drive chris i started driving yeah what i remember <laughs> what, did, now he he just, did he just like see you and he was like you have to fucking stop yeah, he like, he, well, he was like, you're going 80 something. How long have you been driving? And I was like, I don't know, through the night. He's like, okay, you're done. <laughs> you're so done? I, I, I said, thank you, sir. I tried. I love it <laughs> when a cop pushes me around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tells me how to live my life. I, well, I was just happy not to get a ticket, too. And, and also, you had an right. excuse, like, can't drive anymore. <laughs> Cops told me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, it I was just, a legitimate excuse to stop. <clears throat> I, I this remember the story a little like, differently. Like, All those details are right. I oh. was on the back bench, and I remember oh. laying down, and we were driving, and I was just rolling left and right, and I was like my, hitting my head on the thing because you were just hitting those turns. Eat and then the sun, I baby. kept on looking up and looking at you, and you're grooving, mm -hmm. listening to something. And then when you get pulled over, I was like, Part of me was like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, great this time. game is over. Yeah, game over. We lived. Game over. Great. No more. We lived. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You like whisper to the cop. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> but I just his card. Uh, he gave me his card. Trooper Manning. What? He gave oh, you his a card? Oh, a date? Yeah. A date. Oh, that's weird. What? Oh, it was great. Did you call him? Did you call Did him you up? call him up? No, I think I still have it somewhere. It, it was like this thin Dude, piece of paper that had the driver's li license driver. plate of the car and your driver's license number. It had a dollar amount on it. Yeah. It's a weird business card. Yeah. Wait, is there an outstanding ticket on the van we rented? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This uh, there's a car in front of me and it has a bumper sticker that says, don't even think about dating my daughter. Oh. And uh, you know what's weird is this bumper sticker is now making me think about dating this person's daughter. I never thought about it until this moment. Yeah, it's the old sticker, buddy. It's the don't old, picture an elephant. Uh -huh. It's that old argument. Is that an argument? Or it's not an argument. It's a. You've never gotten in that. Uh, don't that picture an elephant. Argument. Yeah, and then you, the person immediately pictures an elephant. Uh, you know, in oh, this weird. I division a economy, attention elephant. economy, these arguments, I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. That's weird. Yeah, don't picture an elephant, and then I'm immediately thinking of an elephant. Oh, I can't, I'm not going to go. Up. There's people coming right here. Sometimes I do this. I put it in park. Yeah, Chris Candy, he's a very, very safe driver. He puts his car in park at crosswalks just in case. Just in case the foot slips. I don't so, want that to uh, happen. So I didn't run anyone over. Yeah. Jeff, do you come from a big family, small family, musician family, doctor uh, family? What do I got? I got a mom. I got a dad. I got a brother and a sister. Um, are, are they into music as well? Or are you like a, a black sheep? We all liked music growing up, but took lessons and stuff like that. And my sister played piano, it was in choir. My brother played clarinet, it was in band. Uh, but I was the only one who kind of kept on doing it. My sister's a TV writer. She used to write for New Girl, and now she's on Single Parents. And she wrote for a season of Glow, too. Oh, amazing. And she's a playwright. She wrote a musical. I don't know how much of the music she had to do with exactly uh but yeah that's awesome were your was your family uh in the creative arts or did my they mom's just... an art teacher and my dad's a lawyer so i'd okay. say like a two out of ten three out of ten yeah i remember yeah. that that was actually an odd combo with us because my mom taught art in toronto yeah. and rick johnson's mom taught art i believe too oh yeah i remember there was this weird little uh thing what do they gas. call that you're yeah. getting gas i'm getting yeah, first time ever on the podcast. How are you gonna get gas on the podcast? Podcast, we're like a well, podcast. I can, I, can, uh, I can still talk to you guys. I can still talk to you. I got the recorder in my hand. You're just not gonna see me. Oh, you're bringing the recorder <laughs> with you, aren't you? Yeah. So how? What are you? What are you guys looking at right now? Where are you? Tell we're us about your mountain. world. I want to know. Actually, fucking oh, fog. We're driving. Back, we're gonna drive back, to back, to back towards the mountain. So we're gonna wrap it up sooner than later. Can we try something hike. before we wrap it all up? Sure. Can we all yell at the same time? Cause it, this delay is crazy. Yeah. Can we just try it? Okay. What do you think? Uh, what was that for? <laughs> I just want to hear it. I'm sorry. Oh, we, nice. we can edit that no, out, no. right? It's something you can edit. Uh, no, I you thought... can put in an edit point. Put in another screams. clip. <laughs> I thought maybe uh, that was because, like, the screaming would recalibrate the mics. That's what I thought in my mind right now. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't do it. Didn't do it, tried. it didn't do shit. Yeah. Well, we're making it work. You know, we're working it out. Yeah. Um, this has been so, one of my favorite podcasts 
of my Chris, life. Chris, I don't want to end well, this bumper just bumper? yet. I'm, we're still going. This is, uh, we're still having a good time here. All right, let's go for another it has ten. Been. I'm loving it. I'm yeah. just, the fuck? Where are you guys going to uh, hike? Mount Low. I told you already, that? and then you made that joke where you said you're not going to Mountain High. And I was said it was the same thing. You were going to do the same joke? Well, I would, you know, I'll put my yeah. East Coast spin on it. What would that have been? Hey, fucking, why not? You fucking, it's Mount Low. That's too low for a fucking mountain. Well, Rick is from the East Coast, so that's why he probably <laughs> made the same joke. It might oh, be yeah. an East Coast thing. All right, East Coast off right now. Yeah, yeah where you, are you Rick, from originally, you do your Jeff? East Coast. What? Rick, you do your where East Coast impersonation. My East Coast? Hey, it's yeah. fucking not Mount Low. It's fucking Mount High. You go up, all right? Yeah. Hey, fucking, where you from? Hey, fuck. Hey, I got a from? nice gobble go. I'm from fucking New Jersey, okay? Newark. Where? Right outside you're, Newark. You're from New I'm, I'm from Long Island. Buffalo Alley, they call it. Buffalo it's, Island. Anyway. Buffalo Island? The fuck? <laughs> I'm just making this shit up. This is fine. I'm gonna stop. I'm just the making voice. shit up. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I don't mind the fucking voice a little bit. You know, you gotta cut a little nasally. I don't know what I'm doing. I like that yours I sounds like, like chubby cheeks too. Yeah, you sound like you're choking on your tongue over there, buddy. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, yeah. That's, how you, that's how you do it in New York. I'm a fucking whore. I'm going into a fucking seizure right now. I'm going to a cardiac arrest. I feel like even being from Long Island, I learned my Long Island accent when I was 11 and heard a jerk. Jerky Boys CD. <laughs> That's like, oh, okay, right. Jerky fucking Boys. Dog. <laughs> jerky yeah. Boys. Did you ever do? Uh, did you ever do your own Jerky Boys? Did you guys prank call? My yes. friends yes. and I would do that. I definitely yeah. did it. It's the best. Yeah. What was uh, what yeah. was some of your pranks you did, Jeff? I called a record store. This it wasn't good. I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, I called a record store the day <laughs> that Odalay came out. And asked nice. the person to describe the cover of Odalay to me in great detail. <laughs> and I remember very vividly that she kept going, It's the pole that the horse jumps over. <laughs> Which, I don't know if I'd seen the album cover at that point, because that was when like, uh -huh. the record comes out. That's when you see the record. Um, it's like a big shaggy sheepdog yeah, thing. It's like a big sheepdog. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty, pretty easy to explain. Sheepdog, it's but a sheepdog at a dog show. We really zeroed in on her not being able to describe the poll and acted like, well, what do you mean the poll? And that was my prank phone call. I prank called this pizza place called Bojay's Pizza. And uh, this is how uh, next level my uh, humor was at the time. I was like, they're like, yeah, Bojay's Pizza. And I was like, uh, don't you mean OJ's Pizza? <laughs> oh, wow. Nice! <laughs> Got him! Wow, Chris, this is why you get so violent when I say a bad joke. Cause because you are from that. Yeah, from I, that I had to come from that. All right, I know you the potential you have. You can make very clever jokes, Rick. You're gonna do real good, okay? You're gonna be a funny guy, okay? I could do East Coast too, you know? I don't know if that's, that's happened. What am I doing? That's on East Coast. That's like a weird <laughs> Montreal guy. <laughs> that's like Montreal, <laughs> man. Quebec to move to. Quebec and then move. To little Italy. Uh, you ever been to Sicily or uh, the uh, Tobacco in Canada? Okay, oh. I'm gonna stop. No, I have it. I'm lost. Fletch, oh. what did uh, what did you give us your prank, Fletch? Did you have uh, one? Oh yeah. Um, man, like back in high school or middle school, or whatever. Staying in a hotel. I was in jazz band. I was one of those cool kids. Hell yeah. Uh, we used to call yeah. other hotel rooms and ask people why men had nipples. <laughs> and I think we got really in trouble one of those times. Dave Mills, Dave Mills, I think, really got in trouble. If you're listening, Dave, bless you. That is Damn. actually very good. That's very, um, that's on point right now, actually. Everyone's got nipples. Yeah. Let him show. Yeah, them. it's weird. Yeah. Free nipples. Yeah, I don't Free think nip. everyone probably doesn't. We probably got some people that don't. They don't have to. Yeah, I'm not, look. Yeah, small percentage, but. Yeah. I am um, on board with that. There's tons of freakish losers out there with no nipples. <laughs> Sorry. Anybody. When uh, when we were kids, we called a uh, like a window pane store that like dealt in windows, and then we just complained that our computer wasn't working. Oh no. You there? Oh great! Fuck! Hold on one second. Right when what I happened? said the joke. What happened? As I'm oh, telling the joke, it goes oh. away. It, Give me a it second went to your here. There we go. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I just got gas. Uh, we called a, uh, yeah, a window of, store. You're full yeah. of it, baby. <laughs> we called a windows. Whatever. Fuck it. Tell it. <laughs> we called a. Uh, we 
called we a just... Windows store. Like a, a place that installs Windows. And then we're like, yeah, we're having trouble with our computer. It's not working. It's not loading. It's not booting. And just so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, get it, Windows. Dude. I got gotcha. you. Anyway, that's good. That's very. We good. just passed a sign that said "dip," and then we passed another sign immediately after that said "dips." What do they? What do they sell? So more dips. More dips. Yeah. What's your favorite dip? I'm a hummus guy these days. Oh. You don't like hummus? It's fine. Whoa. Uh, hummus? Right. Yeah, hummus. I mean, I like hummus because then you get, you know, there's a garlic hummus. There's like mm-hmm. a jalapeno gummus. Oh, gummus. Yeah. <laughs> gummus. <laughs> hummus flavored gum. Yeah. No, nobody's making that. They got dessert hummuses now. Hummus flavored gum. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Oh. Hummus flavored gum. Oh. Dude, I got the garlic kind. You just oh. reek. Oh. You stink. <laughs> hummus is good, but it's very pasty. Okay, I like yeah. a pasty. Uh, I like salsa. Salsa. And good. I feel like if we're going pasty, I'd prefer. A good guacamole because yeah. oh, nice that's guac. got you got a little hint of sour, got a little. It's mm-hmm. it's always cold. It's always nice and cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a refreshing. Are you, in the are mouth. you like a fun? Are you a fondue guy? What do you think about the fondue? I fucking have never had fondue. Really? Oh sh- damn, man. Let's do. You it. gotta get some fondue. All right, let's all we'll we'll post a photo of us. Let's go to the photo of us eating fondue because <laughs> we're gonna do it before this podcast comes out. <laughs> this podcast won't come out until we go eat. <laughs> Fondue, fondue to get that photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might not have to yeah. edit that part out by the time this podcast yeah, comes out. It'll just be there. <laughs> just kidding, nothing got edited. Right? Yeah, yeah. no, this yeah, is just I'm, live. Acknowledge the edit as much. The or There's no more edits, yeah. yeah. You get one edit a pod. One edit per pod. <laughs> when did you it. become the edit guy? We didn't have this meeting. What? We, we, you didn't say that Chris, we Chris, you're volunteering to edit right now. Is this something you want to do? No, I can't. No, we're not going to edit. We're not editing. The typography on that truck is sick. Oh, that is really cool. It's like a demolition. Bunch of spray paint. Somebody jankily spray paint on demolition, hauling, tree trimming, junk tree removal, trimming, fences, junk removal. garage. Oh, the guy hey, Jeff. driving, he can do oh, it yeah. all. That's cool. Jeff. What's up? How did your parents come up with the name Jeff? I don't know. They never told you that story? Like, oh, it's a guy down the street. His name was Jeff. We always liked him. They've just always told me they thought it sounded like a good name. Uh, nice. I don't know how they came up Are, with it. We're Doug, Kim, and Jeff, and none of them have any like particular significance that I know of. We're not named you after a, anybody. You my Jeff middle Lee? name is my grandpa's name, and my brother's middle name is my dad's middle name. Your middle name is your grandpa's name? Yeah. That me well, too. That I got yeah, my that's, grandpa. That's, good. that's a good story. So that's what it is, dude. They like my their, fucking your, uh, middle name. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> what's your middle name? Um, grandpa. <laughs> Jeff Grandpa uh, uh, Ernest. My middle name's Ernest. Ernest? Ernest. Yep. Nice. Did you like, got a did lot you... of Ernest goes to jokes when I was a kid. Oh. Yeah, and that's Ernie. what I was wondering. I fucking hated Ernie. it, man. I was sensitive. It's cool. Sensitive person Ernest. and I was Ernie's super a cool sensitive name. kid. Yeah, it is a cool name now in Ernie, you got Ernie Make Hudson. your turn, dipshit. Well, sorry. I like okay. Ernest because it's also, you know, evokes it's like a double entendre. It's a name and it's a way you can be. In yes. your life, you know? And quite honestly, nice. I'm pretty earnest. I think you're that way. Yeah. Yeah, you're an earnest guy. Yeah. Earnestly, I feel I'm like earnest. we talked about this on the second part. My, uh, our buddy John just had a daughter and her name was Winnie. And uh, I love that name because she's, she's always going to be a winner, you know? You're not yeah. going to have, uh, you become your name, you know? That's true. It is also a sound, though. It is a sound, but it's a sound that's thrown at you all the time. It's gonna shape you like a, you know, a bluff gets shaped by the water. Wow, <laughs> wow man. that was nice. Wow, Rick, that was very poetic. <laughs> Can you explain in detail to me what a bluff is? Yes. <laughs> and water. You know, a bluff. <laughs> yeah. I never it's, heard uh, this shit. Near the, it's near the ocean. It's a bluff. Wow. Wait. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It is? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. So what does it I'm mean, sorry. Rick, if I'm named after a person that makes, uh, that puts the arrows Fletcher. on feathers? I mean the feathers Fletcher? on arrows. What does that mean? You're Fletcher. You're, you're definitely a Fletcher. Oh, you're a when, Fletcher. When, like, people see your face, you're like, that is a Fletcher face. Like, I you know, know how to make arrows? Like, yeah. is that Don't what a Fletcher you? is? Yeah, it's the guy that uh, puts the feathers on the arrows to make them go straight. I didn't see, know that. I could see you fucking doing that. I could see you 2,000 years ago perched on top of a mountain putting feathers on arrows. You kill the birds, you pluck their feathers, yeah. and then you make your business, you know, by That's making arrows. That's where you get the birds up on the mountain. 
<laughs> I see. <laughs> Thanks, you man. You feed them. Yeah, man. <laughs> Can Names. I tell you a difference between New York and L.A.? Yes, please. In New York, we don't see any of these for your consideration billboards. And they're everywhere here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They are here everywhere. Is None there, for oh, yeah, tell us about... That somebody who works for the Academy is just driving around and we'll see that. And they'll be like, oh, shit, us. I got to check that out. <laughs> yeah. well, it's it's uh, crazy. Yeah, this, so this I've place heard stories where they, like, put billboards up near... Like, like they, they go, like, oh, this certain director knows that they go to, like, the studio on these ways, so they show the billboards oh for their God. show. So it's like, oh, yeah, That's see, power. the studio's telling the director that, oh, we were doing things for your show. What was that uh, movie with Steve That's Martin crazy. where the uh, the sign talks to him? L.A. LA Story? Story. Oh, I haven't seen it. A great movie. That's a great movie. Great I know, movie. I gotta see it. Yeah, I'm driving by uh, Glenn Danzig's house right now. Oh, really? He's You're got a your neighborhood. He's got a, he's got a Nissan Leaf parked in the driveway. It looks That's pretty good. tight. <laughs> Have you seen yeah. Glenn Danzig's house? No. Right, let's oh, cut to sick. that real quick. Let me it show looks- you. Real quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I object. I can object. I feel like Glenn Danzig Objection. rightfully gets shit on a lot because uh-huh. of that video where he got punched in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. shitting on him? I love Danzig. But, like, yeah, the misfits are great. And I, I feel like yeah. Danzig gets a little too much, a little too much shit. Pump he- the brakes on Danzig 2020. He also got Did a lot of, like, good points of, like, the leaving Costco with the cat food and the catnip photo. You know that one? Oh. <laughs> well, let's cut to it. Let's, let's cut, cut to, to that it. one. Yeah. <laughs> no, shut up, Chris. <laughs> You're taking notes, right? Um, you know, Danzig, uh, he made a movie. He made a horror film. I heard. That came out at the end of uh, last year. It's not, I don't know where you can see it, but apparently it's, like, the movie The Room, but, you know, in a yeah. horror form. It's yeah. supposed to be so bad, but good. And I can't really? wait because I I recently Fletch and I and a few other friends went to go see Cats. Oh, and, uh, I almost went. I gotta Fuck. say, I gotta oh go my again. god, have you seen it, Jeff? Have you seen Cats? I, I, we saw it while we were moving at ten thirty, like two days after it came out because we knew that they were gonna do that special effects patch and fix the hands. Right. Oh um, yeah. And we saw it at 10.30 in Queens. There were eight people in the theater, and almost all of them walked out before the end of this movie. It wasn't like this God. fun experience that everybody else was having. We're like, yeah, man, we're going. We're all meowing at the screen. It was just like I convinced my wife to leave in the middle of the night to go to Queens to see Cats because I wanted What'd to see think? it when it was really bad. It was. What did you think? I wasn't prepared, and I felt like I was so prepared. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I know. What you mean. They say Jellical so much. Oh, I've Jellical. I, like I, I didn't know. Nobody, nobody was talking about it, and I feel like five minutes of the movie. Yeah, we just turned to each other. Like we're, they're saying Jellical a lot. The first shot oh. looks like a TV that has the Cinemotion Plus yes. filter not turned yes. off. Um, yes. It's a. It's a beautiful piece of shit. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, we saw it with like a packed audience, and everyone is stoned. Yeah. Uh, and uh, everyone is fucking cracking up. It was an, a, a beautiful experience. experience. But yeah, it caught people, on because people I was started at a, clapping along and yeah. At the I was screen. at a um, I was at a dog park recently, and I heard like you know a cluster of friends. They were talking about. The movie, so it's like getting out there, and people are starting to pick right. up on it. I hope yeah. that you know by the time this podcast comes out, that it's still in theaters. Uh, you you got to go see it if you I haven't seen, seen it. it. Oh, go. oh, let's go! Right, let's, let's go! go. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Cool. I want to go what? see it again. I want to go see it now. It's fun. Like I kind of also went thinking like this is going to be a bad movie, but it's going to be fun because I'm seeing it's New York fun, yeah. right when it came out. Right. And it was just like no, it's a bad movie that everybody heard was bad, so they didn't go. I feel like I was watching history. I mean, like, yeah, everyone heard about truly. The Room years after it came out. Yes. And then now you're like, oh, let me go. But, like, being there, ground zero, in the yeah. theater, you were like, this is, I'm witnessing something special here. Yeah. And it's not like, I've talked to other people about it. My girlfriend doesn't quite get it still. Like, it's not being, you're not being cynical. Like, it's, there's a true, I was truly entertained by that movie. It's yeah, a terrible I, movie. I, I've been but that doesn't mean it's that. bad. There is it's a, not like that. It's like we have to change our language and say some new word mm-hmm. that well, is for what this is. No, we don't. You enjoyed it. 
You know, I, I, yeah, I think you about that it. with music sometimes but, that I listen to because it they make sh- such like insane bad decisions. <laughs> Three Eleven is a good example of this, where <laughs> like at some point I'm like, well, I'm listening to this and I'm engaged and I'm smiling and I'm enjoying it. Why does anything else really matter? Right. And that's kind of yeah. how I felt about no. Cats. Cats made yeah, me feel I, like I was a little kid again because I knew nothing yeah. about the musical. I'd heard, you know, the one song, and I just I was. Were you surprised to find that that has that it has no songs? Yeah, I mean the songs are just uh, introducing characters and you know keeping it rolling, and all these quirky cats have all these different characteristics and. I was just buckled up the whole time, you know, and I don't know, just the whole thing was overwhelming in the way films used to be, like when you went to the theater as a child. That's the way yeah. I felt. I but, gotta see uh, this movie. I will see it again. All right, I'll let's see all go. it again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rick, you want to go? It's not. It's not a great I, I'm film down. by any means. <laughs> okay. Well, let's no. Take a f- yeah. I'm down and to go. I've maybe. been wanting to see it a second time. Yeah, I want to see a second time too. I, I and I'm like worried we're building it up too much for you, but I thought it was built up too much for me, and it was still just like, oh wow. Well, this guy got yeah. so angry at that driver. Apparently, apparently there was a um, a guy who did a review. He saw it like on a shit ton of mushrooms. He ate mushrooms, went in, watched the movie, thinking it would be fun, and was like in a nightmare world for the <laughs> yeah. next two hours. <laughs> and, I can uh, see that. He he get uh, there's an online publication I forget who that interviewed him. You can Google it and uh, it's hilarious. Like uh, just getting his perspective. Um, it's weird that they did the the updated patch because when we the version we saw, which was a couple weeks ago, that song Magical Mister 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 whatever the fuck his name is. Yes. Uh, they had a close up of his hands and they were clearly human hands. You could see the fingernails. Yeah. You can see like. Makeup okay. swatches. So did they, when I watch, was, did they give them cat when hands? I watched the movie before they patched it, and no, they didn't. Okay. When I watched the movie before they patched it, I was just thinking, I don't know what they could fucking do to fix this. This is like, <laughs> yeah. there's nothing. You can't. This is, this is done. Oh, and isn't so, it weird how like when they're in like a full wardrobe outfit, it's weird. They the CGI kind of they don't need to use as much because their body's being covered by fabric. But there was like a different when you had a pure cat like that moment at the end where Idris Alba is completely nude. Yeah. Like there was something there was something truly <laughs> jellical about that moment. It was a jellical moment where you, you transcended. It was the, yeah. The, the whole it was a jellical moment. <laughs> what, what does jellical mean? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, well, know. they're jellicles. What is a jellicle? A jellicle is a cat that they're going to sacrifice so oh, it can uh, the ascend. End. Spoiler so alert. <laughs> yeah, but there's also the jellicle choice. It's kind of a uh, word yeah. you can put anywhere. It's what? a nonsense yeah, it word that they say over and over again because they didn't decide to write something. Oh my jellicle, God. jellicle, jellicle. <laughs> okay, don't tell me anymore. Chris, you got to see it. It's, gonna you're going to go. have a wonderful time. I'm going to go. You're going to walk out of the movie stoned. You're going to go in sober. You're going to yeah. come out high. <laughs> yeah, you're going to walk out and be like, you don't, need, oh, what? you don't need drugs. It is the drugs. <laughs> oh, my but, God. Uh, All right. Yeah. Okay, we got to get on this hike, dude. Yeah, well, it was been a it's been a great time. This is one of my uh, my favorite ones right here. Cool. Well, thanks time. for having me, Rick. It's a jellicle Yeah, thanks, big time. Jeff. Definitely. Um, you guys enjoy your hike. Thank you. And uh, Chris, I'll close it out. And uh, it was it was a great podcast. Yeah, this another is great fun. podcast. It was fun. Yeah. Hope to see you at Cats. Yeah, well, I'll be there. Hell yeah. Take it easy, guys. All right, bye, take Rick. Care. Bye, Rick. All right, see you later. Bye, bye. Oh, that was fun. That was uh, that was one of my favorites. That was a lot of fun. Um, I mean, they've all been my favorites. Uh, I love this podcast. I love doing it with Chris. Uh, had a couple of technical issues in the beginning. Got pretty silly. Had a fun time. Yeah, I definitely recommend Cats uh, if you can somehow see it. Uh, it's a great. It's just a great. It's a great. You're gonna have a great time. You know, and that's what I, I love about movies is. Uh, there's no rules for movies, you know? There's no rules in life. Uh, any, something can be whatever it wants. And Cats is a beautiful experience. And uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's up there. It's up there as uh, one of my most entertaining moments uh, in the theater. I can remember uh, South Park being one, the movie. That was an incredible experience. And Borat. 
Those two movies and Jackass, the original one, where the audience just went crazy. There's nothing better than being in a dark room and going crazy and laughing with, with strangers. And uh, I had a great time on this podcast. Uh, Jeff is an interesting guy, and I'd love to get him on uh, again. And uh, Chris and Fletch, we had a good time, and we love it. And we'll be back next week on Monday, same time, same place, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and, of course, YouTube. And, uh, yeah, check out Abracadabra. This is our last week for submissions. I don't mean to plug it. I feel kind of, you know, I yeah, I shouldn't be plugging it, but you know the deal. Chris, I love you. Uh, if you were here, you would tell me to shut up. But I'm going to plug it. I'm going to take this time. Send your submissions in for Abracadabra Alakazam. Uh, very simple website to remember. This week is our final week for early bird submissions, and it's free. And then uh, there will be a charge to submit. And it's going to be a great evening, June 12th and 13th of uh, weird, fun, short films. Always have a good time putting it on. And I couldn't put it on with uh, people like Chris and other people like my friends and people are people and we're on the Pod People podcast and I'm talking too much and I'm stuck in traffic and I love you all and see you next Monday. Mm